What's going on everybody? Thanks for tuning back in. Today we're gonna to be doing a follow-up on the React Router 6 video that I previously did. And we're gonna be taking a look at how to use the hook use search params provided by React Router 6. The use search param hooks allows you to easily grab search parameter variables from the URL address and set them as well, depending on the situation that you'll need that in. This is going to be a relatively short video today, so let's go ahead and get right into it. So here you can see I have a basic project set up with React Router 6. I added a little test page in the middle here, insert it into my old project. So if you already have a React Router 6 project ready to go and you wanna just use the search params, go ahead and continue. But if you don't have a project yet, you can go ahead and look at the last video or you can just download this from the GitHub straight away and start playing with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and run npm start just to show you where we're gonna be playing around today. And once your project loads up, you're gonna see a couple links on this homepage here if you're using the same project that I am. And there's gonna be a little link here that says go to the test page. This is the page we're gonna be playing around with. Once you do that, let's go ahead and take a look at the code. So let's go ahead and grab our hook from React Writer 6. And how we're gonna do that is we're gonna declare constant search params and then set search params, kind of like you would do for a use state hook, but instead you're gonna call use search params and you're not gonna pass anything into the function. This is what we're gonna to need to not only grab, but manipulate the search parameter variables. So I'm gonna create two variables to play around with here. I'm gonna create a const food, and that's gonna be equal to my search parameters get, and then I'm gonna be looking for the key food. Next, I'm gonna add one for dog, and that's gonna be the name of uh, my dog, for example, and we're gonna just call the same thing on the dog key. So basically what this is telling us is that inside of the URL, I'm expecting two search parameters, one called food, one called dog, and then those food and dog variables will be equal to whatever the value is inside. So with the URL search parameter, basically anything after the question mark is gonna be a set of key value pairs separated by ampersands. And now that I have those variables declared, what I'm gonna do is inside of the JSX underneath the this is a test page paragraph, I'm gonna add two sections, one for each one of these variables, check to see if they're equal to null. And if they aren't, they're actually equal to a value. I'm gonna print what those values are. So for example, with the food key, I'm gonna check food and then type two ampersands to make sure that it exists and then type in a paragraph that displays the name of my favorite food. Do this for the dog variable as well or what other variables you need and then go ahead and go back to the page and start testing. So in my URL, I'm gonna to go to my test page type the question mark, and then start adding my key value pairs. I'm gonna do my food is equal to rice, and my dog's name is equal to Jeff. And when I hit enter, you can see that they are detected with my use search params, and they are put here appropriately. So the using search params, getting them is working properly. Go ahead and change these values to something else, and then just hit enter to see if the values change. And you can see here that they do. Now that using the search params is working properly in the aspect of getting them, let's take a look at actually how to set them. So let's throw in a button and just set the search params with some sort of arbitrary values. Create an on click function inside of your button. And what you're gonna do here is you're gonna type set search params. Inside of the function, you're gonna pass in an object, and then you can pass in any set of key value pairs that you like. I'm just gonna do food and dog to keep it simple. These are just gonna be set with the button. You can't change them, but you could create a form where you can make these variables dynamic. But for example, I'm just gonna put McDonald's for food and I'm gonna put Barky for dog. So before we go back to the test page, I'm just gonna throw a use effect in here and I'm gonna log to see what happens when I change the food and dog parameters. I wanna see if this set search params updates them like a state or if they are gonna be stagnant and I have to update them manually with a use effect. After you set the logging function, go ahead and go back to your page, open up the console. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click the button, but first we're gonna give the button a title because I forgot to do that. And you can see here that it changes the names both in the page and inside the console, it displays them properly. So this is just a very basic example of what you can do with the use search params, but there are much more complicated examples using forms, et cetera, that you can do that show you the full dynamic range of this hook. It's really awesome that they switched to this in React Router 6. I think it's way better than React Router 5, and I look forward to using it in all my projects. 
All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning back in. I know that was a short one, but it's important. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. And if you haven't already, just buy me a coffee so I can continue to bring you more videos. Thanks a lot, guys.